So my name is Victoria. I started in spirituality and healing in Spain uh, over 12 years ago and I love any aspect of healing and I'm excited to share this with you. I really wish that you can get the best out of it. So thank you for being here today. I'm excited for these seven months that can really change your life. We are really um, creating our lives because of how we perceive life, how we filter it, and we can change those filters and start manifesting something different. So that's what I'm going to talk about. One of the things that um, many people have trouble with is having enough energy to go on in the day and, and, you know, they feel like they could really use more energy. So my question is, if we are made up of energy, if everything around us is energy, why are we going to, <laughs> to have lack of energy, right? Everything is energy. Why do we don't have energy? So one of the reasons why we don't have energy is that we might get stressed, get angry, get in fear, get sad, worried. And all of that doesn't allow our flow of energy. We create blockages and our energy cannot flow as well. So every day we have our share of energy and we receive all this energy, amazing energy, white light with all the potential to, to give us anything that we want. Wealth and love and energy, everything but then it has to deal with all these blockages. It has to deal with preoccupation, stress. So our filter, our body is filtering this energy and it's really not enough to get along the day if we have many problems, many preoccupations. Why do we get preoccupied? Why do we get angry? We might think, oh, you know, it's somebody that is in my job that is really making my life impossible. <laughs> It, it is my, my husband or my wife, you know, this person. If it's not because of that, I would be fine. Well, so my question is, does the anger start outside or inside of us? It starts inside, right? There is a trigger outside, but really the emotion and the feelings and the anger, whatever it is, is inside. So we have 100% power to change this. That's the good news. If it would be outside, we don't have power to change it. And when we start trying to change things outside, we're not going to end up so, so successful. So we go to, to our inside and we see why I'm having these experiences. Is because of what happened right now? Well, what happened right now is a trigger. But really what happens is that what we are triggering is something from the past that is a stored in our system, in our energetic system. So maybe it happens when we were small and we have it stored on our chakras and then somebody outside reminds us of that. It makes us feel the same that we felt when we were small and we get frustrated. So it's an inconvenience because it's not fun, but it's also an opportunity to heal that wound so that we can move forward. We are coming from light. So if we see each other without all these memories, we would be pure white light, pure love. We would have all the love and abundance. I imagine it like, like God, like a sun, and then a ray descending towards the earth. That would be our soul coming to the earth and our higher self in there. And then once we arrive to the earth, then we are physical. But we are still light. But once we're born, we start having experiences, and we start experiencing our life through our chakras. We start with the first chakra, which is related to basic needs. So from zero years old to seven years old, we're going to experience our life through that chakra, basic needs, that is our root chakra. Our basic needs is to have a shelter, to have our family that is taking care of us, is to have uh, food, as soon as we have all that covered, everything is great, but what happens? We are not perfect, our parents are not perfect, maybe they didn't have enough money or not enough time for us, and then suddenly we start feeling that uh, limitation, that sadness, that anger, and it gets stored in that chakra. And then when we grow up, any situation that we receive that is similar 
is going to make us uh, remember that feeling that started when we were small. When you see white light and you have a prism, and you put the white light and you can see the seven colors of the spectrum. So I see it like if we are a recorder and we receive light from the divine and it comes and here is purple, here is indigo, here is uh, sky blue, here is green, here is yellow, here is orange and here is red. I like to see it like that. So really light and energy is pure potentiality and it's all the colors, all, all the things that can happen, but then we filter it and we receive different things depending on how we filter it. So the same energy uh, that you receive and creates love can create fear or can create anger. So it's depending how we use it. But we always have the choice to change that and really turn it into what we want. I'm going to do the activation of the grid and then after that we will do an exercise all together so we're going to have this hand with the crystal. So we send our intention to the crystal. The crystal is going to amplify it.